All right. So our last topic of today's panel is certainly one that I'm excited to talk about with you because it's our girl, Charity. Her bachelorette season is approaching. It premieres next month. And she recently went on Jennifer Hudson's talk show. Talk about one, just like the representation of being the second monoracial black woman to hold the role. Um, but also she talked about her skills as a, ther a therapist and Jennifer Hudson felt like Charity might actually have an advantage in being able to kind of get in their minds a little bit and maybe seeing through some things when it comes to her men. I think um, a few of the core skills that I have as a therapist is just that I'm a really active listener mm -hmm. and I'm really compassionate. So I think for me, I'm very expressive. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't mind feeling my emotions. So I think for me, that will be an advantage in the sense that I hope that cultivates a space for, for the guys um, yeah. to also kind of reciprocate that back to me. So. so what do you, what it, I don't know, with this in mind, what do you expect from Charity as a bachelor? Do you, you know, do you think she'll be able to really make good decisions in navigating all the men she has to date? What do you, what are you excited about? Oh, to yeah. I mean, and I feel like that was probably a big deciding factor. You know, the way that she carried herself mm -hmm. on Zach's season was just so, like, top tier, honestly, is the word that comes to mind. Yeah. You know, she really is a good listener. She's a good communicator. Mm -hmm. um, she seems very compassionate, um, very understanding. So all of those things make for a great bachelorette. And when you have background, you know, in I think it's uh, child and family therapy that she does, uh, you know, you're very mindful mm -hmm. of what people are going through. You often can put yourself in people's shoes uh, to come out with a better yeah. outcome in the end, you know, so I feel like it will definitely help her as where we've seen some people in the past, maybe not be able to process so many emotions going on at one time. She kind of mm. does that for a living. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be really beneficial yeah, for her. For sure. And, you know, just to piggyback off what you said in comparison to the last season with Gabby and Rachel, we saw, we saw that these two leads were really emotionally going through it because it's a lot, it's a lot to handle as the lead of, of the show. It's a lot of emotions to carry. Um, and you also have to be very mature and within yourself and like secure within yourself. And I think charity really exudes that. So I'm definitely expecting to see kind of like maybe a, maybe a, the same kind of vibe from Michelle's season where she was just so Michelle Young was so like graceful and tactful and thoughtful and she just communicated so well and handled all of the drama just so impeccably. And I think we'll kind of maybe mm -hmm. see some reminiscent things of that season. Um, so yeah, I think she'll do really well. Also on the, uh, on the talk show with Jennifer Hudson, she mentioned that her, that her celebrity crush is actually Michael B. Jordan. So that kind of gave me a little tidbit of the type of guy she might be into. What do you yeah. think, <laughs> you know, she might end up picking when it comes to like her type? Like we saw her with, with, uh, oh my gosh, Zach. I almost said Josh. What in the world? <laughs> with Zach. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you think of her type? No, I definitely see her with more of a Michael B. Jordan than a Zach. You know, like, let's just be yeah. honest. Michael <laughs> B. Jordan chiseled. He's got the beard, like, mm -hmm. very aesthetically pleasing mm -hmm. together, those two would be. But I almost wanted to, like, go through the cast and look at them all again and see, like, okay, know. you know, based on what she said, which ones might she be interested in? But I'm going to leave it, you know, 100% a surprise. I'm going to follow along with her journey organically and just hope that she ends up with a guy that has the best heart and also is really hot. I mean, let's yes. just be honest. That's what she needs. Those two things. She can have both. Yeah. She absolutely can have both. Yeah. Have you yeah. heard any like spoilers? I know you always get the tea. So have you heard anything about the season so no. far? Because they're finished filming. Have you heard? It? Yeah, no? I haven't heard hmm. anything. Uh, the last spoiler, I guess, when it comes to charity season that I had heard was that charity was the bachelorette. So they're really keeping things <laughs> right. tight lit when it comes to her season. Yeah, no. And I'm, I'm glad for it. I think the only other thing maybe I heard was that she does get engaged at the end. I mean, she seems incredibly happy in this video. So mm -hmm. 
That's not a huge shocker shocker to me. Uh, at the very least, it seems like it ends successfully. So, um, yeah, but we definitely need to do a panel where we can, like, go through some of the men and talk through, like, what guys are interested in. Because that's, I always get excited about a new season of The Bachelorette when we just get a fresh, we get fresh faces, new people. Yeah. Just a new opportunity for success in the franchise. Um, I, as we've been talking about today, it really can go either way um, with people making it and people not making it. So, of course, we'll be covering her entire season when it comes out June 26th. Um, we're super excited. Me and Morgan, I think, we're like the captains of the charity. I feel we like were. we were the captains of the charity. <laughs> the we were charity the charity ship. fan club. We were. <laughs> the charity fan club since like day one so yeah so yeah i'm really excited for her 